I want to talk about how to use Doctopus script to grade a Google Classroom uh, assignment that was submitted by your students. This is a new integration that Doctopus has released in the last few weeks, and it's working uh, really well for me, and I wanted to share it, so hopefully it can work for you guys as well. So it starts like this. Um, if we go to our Google Classroom, we look at an assignment right here uh, that I'd like to grade uh, with a rubric. I can use the Doctopus script to do that. So before we start, if we look at this assignment as the one we want to grade, we want to have a few things. Uh, I want to create a corresponding grade assignment sheet in your drive that matches the Google Classroom assignment. So here's my classroom assignment that was submitted. And here's a corresponding blank grade sheet uh, that I'm going to use to run my Google, uh, my Doctopus script within. Uh, in that same script, we can uh, go ahead and, oops, we can go ahead and install the Doctopus add-on while we're in that spreadsheet. And we can do it from right up here. There it is, Doctopus. And I can launch it and it'll run. We'll wait a little bit. Can go back over here and fix what I messed up there and um, wait for the Doctopus script to run. And what's going to happen is it's going to give us the option to take all of these submissions here and bring them into our spreadsheet over here. The nice thing about this is we can choose to create a roster directly from the Google Classroom. There it is. I'll click that, I'll let it run. Doctopus is looking at my classes in the Google Classroom. Here they are, a few test classes in there. And I'm going to go ahead and select uh, this class here. And ideally, as this works, all right, it'll look for the assignments from that class. And here's the test that I want to grade with my rubric. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Doctopus is going to look for all those student submissions. Ideally, the number 13 is the uh, number that you want to see over here in your spreadsheet. It should bring back 13. Uh, sometimes there's a few uh, discrepancies because of a student who hasn't turned it in yet. And then the final step here to get ready for grading your rubric is ingesting the assignment, which is uh, kind of fun. The verb is fun. It's vivid. So we're going to click that button. And what's going to happen is... Doctopus is going to bring all those submissions from the classroom and build them here in a nice, neat virtual stack, as I like to think of it. I get a virtual stack of uh, assignments that I'm going to go ahead and add my rubric into uh, a little bit later. So uh, this is the first step here. You have all of your student submissions, and we can click on the link open them up, and we'll attach our rubric, which will happen in the next screencast.